Hi, I'm Robert and this is the Manhattan Wood Project. Before I get into this project, I want to do a quick product review. I'm really excited because I get to use this. It's not a knife. I scared the hell out of my kids when I did that. This is actually a marking blade, a pencil blade, graphite, carbon fiber, something like that. So I just ordered it and I'm excited to see how well it works. Very nice. That, this is going to be a great tool. So I ordered the Accutrax pencil blade online from woodpeckers.com. Very cool site. And I didn't know how well it would work. I wasn't sure whether the uh, blade would be brittle, uh, the lead or whatever you want to call it, whether it would be brittle, uh, flexible, how well it would work. I'm actually kind of surprised at how well it worked. I did manage to break it when I set it down pretty hard, and broke it off going right across here, but I was able to take it out, reverse it, and there was still enough the blade and the little holes on the utility knife shape of it to hold it in place. So basically this is half a blade, and it's in there just like it's a whole blade, which is pretty cool. So this thing will probably last quite a while as long as I don't drop it and throw it around. I like the fact that the extra blades came in a little plastic box, so that way I can toss this off to the side, not have to worry about dropping stuff on them and breaking them or just losing them and thinking they're razor blades. The thickness is about 0 .65, 0 .66 millimeters, so it's effectively the same thickness as a 0 .7 millimeter uh, mechanical pencil, which is good, good enough for most woodworking and it really will not get any more dull than that because that's just the thickness of the blade itself. So I'd like this. I may not use it for everything, but I'm sure that I can use it for a lot of stuff like marking on plywood, making long lines on 2x4, just stuff like that. Now let's get on with the project. What I built this time was a locking overhead ladder storage system. There's two main parts to the overhead ladder storage system. The first is a little box which I mounted right above my garage door to hold the feet of the ladder. And the second is the lock itself. Both of these parts are made out of 2x4 and the box at the far end also has some scrap plywood. Beyond that, the only other thing that I had to buy was a little bit of hardware. So here's how I built it.
really happy with the way it turned out. As you saw in the video, I gave it a pretty good shake and it didn't fall out of the box on the far end and the lock didn't fall out of the ceiling. Not only is it mounted up on the ceiling out of the way, it's easily accessible to me. I just need to build a little stool so that I can get all the way up to access the swivel hasp. Beyond that, it gave me some room on another wall, which you'll see in my next video because that's where I'm going to put my lumber racks. I'm changing the way I'm doing my videos a little bit, as you can probably tell. I'm trying to do more close-up shots like most other woodworkers are doing. You don't need to see me sitting back swinging a hammer. All you need to see and all you care about is the hammer actually hitting a nail or a dowel or something. I'm also trying to do less talking because you can figure out that I'm drilling. I don't have to say drill a hole. I'm also feeling a little more comfortable with editing software. I think I'm starting to learn a few tricks that are making it go faster. The hardest part for me in these videos is not showing every little detail. I know you don't need to see every little detail, you don't need to see every single cut every minute of sanding, even if it's four times speed or eight times speed. I want to send a special thank you out to Jay Bates. His videos were kind of the inspiration for me to get my videos from 15-20 minute long videos that could be cut down to three, to actual three minute videos, plus me jawing away at the very beginning and end. I really love the way he does his editing, uh, tries to do everything in rhythm with the music. I've been trying to emulate that. So Jay, thank you very much. Because of you, I'm actually making better videos. Let me know below in the comments what you think. Should I do more talking in the video? Should I put some written instructions up there? Or should I just leave it generic and leave it so that you have the general idea? If you're interested in what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash manhattanwoodprojects, and you can follow my blog, uh, manhattanwoodproject.com. It's also got other things on that site, old plans, but I'm trying to redesign the website with very little time. But eventually all my plans will be available, and whatever I can get available, I'll have links on my blog. If you like this video, let me know below. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you are new to this or you haven't chosen to subscribe yet, please consider subscribing. It's free, it's easy, and it shows me that you actually like what I'm doing and gives me the encouragement to keep going. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next project. I f***ing hate crickets. You hear that? Little s*** up there. I killed four of his friends the other day over here under my stack of pallet wood. Had a nice little cricket orgy. Now shut him up. Frickin' crickets.